the white season. The whites are used actually several times of the year, Christmas, Easter, Christ the King, All Saints, and, and Trinity Sunday. So the really high festive celebrations. So white and gold are the colors. So I like the fact that in the wall hangings here, the outside pieces of fabric were part of your heritage. They were part of wall hangings that were used at, when you worshiped at the firehouse, not far away. And so I combined that and then in the center is new fabric and we're using a lot of circles because these are the high festivals and they bring us closer to that wholeness of the story of the life of Christ. And of course, here we have the symbol, it's the manger, so very Christmas-like. One of the symbols that's used throughout all five sets is the Celtic cross. And that's because there is a cross, a Celtic cross at the front of your worship space. And so we use that, that's the only kind of cross that was used to bring a cohesiveness. But you'll notice how we have little colored dots around it here, and the same dots appear in the manger. There is a sense of exuberance and celebration and to break up the formality of the white and gold. It's because your congregation likes to do things in the moment and you know how to do things where you are. So I needed to make it festive for you all. You're a little less formal. Okay, so. You are a little less formal. So I hope you read, the, read that way. And I love the use of partial circles. So again, the part, there is, it is like Advent and it's all the idea we can't see everything at the same time. So there are some whole circles, but we don't see everything at once. Okay, thanks. <laughs>